In this video we're going to cover how to play a quick and simple strumming version of Can't Help Falling In Love by Elvis Presley, or originally released by Elvis Presley anyway. This version we're playing with a capo at the second fret, and we're going to play this in the key of C, which would mean what this sounds like is kind of like it's in the key of D, or exactly like it's in the key of D, those are the resulting sounds, but so that we don't have any bar chords or anything, and the common guitar way of playing this is the key of C. You can also move this capo wherever you want to make it easier for you to sing if you wish. Let me give you a quick example of what we're going for. Wise men say Only fools rush in But I can't help Falling in love with So Elvis Presley, I am not. I have a very average singing voice, but hopefully that allowed you to see what we're going for here. The chords we have are C major, and all these chords are in the key of C, as I've said before. G, E minor, A minor, A minor slash G. So that's an A minor chord with a G note in the bass. You could just stay on the A minor if you don't want to add this little finger. And an F chord, which you could play as the bar, that would be totally fine. I'm doing this little hybrid, which I often do. And we also have the much easier F major seven, if that's what you fancy. Um, we also have some tricky chords in this song, which we'll cover when we get to them, because they're the main ones that will get us through most of this song. The order is almost as I've described there, wise. I did do a little intro, so just C back to G. And I was also playing G at times like this, rather than like this, because changing between uh, G and C can be easier if we just move those first two fingers up from the C to the G like this. Some people find this, for some people this is the only way they know how to play a G, and for some people it's totally new. It's a really good thing to learn, especially if you're having trouble or you want to change between G and C easier. It also trains fingers two, three, and four, which we always need more work of those fingers. So that's the intro. Verse, wise men say, and then to the, uh, the slash chord over the G, sorry, to an F, only fools, back to C, rush in. You could do a G, but I would do a G7. Here, staying strict to the uh, songbook I'm working from here, which I link to in the description below. Next part, but I is an F, G, A minor, then F, quickly to D minor, to C, G, with you. Again, you can go for this G or this one. Used to your way of doing it. Generally, per chord, we're strumming six times, but we're in the time signature of 12 8 here, which is very different to the normal 4 4 we might be used to. So, 4 4, four beats, and they're four crotchet beats. Four beats in a bar, so that's what our count is. Uh, the length of them is four is a crotchet beat, so it's a, it's a whole beat, as we call it. This one, I don't have enough fingers to show, it's 12-8, so our count is actually 12 per bar, but the length of those are actually half beats, so they're quavers, as we would call them. So per bar, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, is the way what I would call it. We never really count to 12, just count to two, two counts of six, but the way that it is written, in this case, is that we have... Um, 12, in, 12 beats in the bar, 12 pulses in the bar. It tends to be six per chord, so that's what we're gonna count. We're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
I mean, imagine counting to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It just, we, we tend not to do that as musicians, okay? We go for the smaller count. And that's all we're doing. We're keeping that pulse going along. Uh, we could also do this with picking, which mimics the original record a little more. Um, again, if you want an example of that, we've got the tab in the songbook that I'm following here and I link to that in the description. It shows all the tab for that version. To keep this tutorial a little shorter, because we've still got the middle eight to go, we're just going to do a strumming version. But essentially you do that style of picking, kind of the unchained melody, to that count of six. That is all we would do. All we're doing for this version is a strumming version where we just strum every one of them fairly simple if you're used to consolidating all these beginner kind of level skills. The bridge throws up some uh, slightly uh, more interesting chords. We have the E minor to a B7 chord. That B7 is um, technically out of key. We kind of have a key change here, but I don't really want to worry about that. What I want to worry about is that we can play a B7 to E minor, okay? Using either E minor like this or like this. That is that gateway level skill to much higher stuff. Like a river flows truly to the sea Darling, so it goes Some things are meant to be And then we change key back to C Take my hand So, um, back to that uh, bridge. It's just an exercise in going from E minor to B7. Darling, so it goes. When we get to the next section, some things are meant to be. That was E minor, A7, D minor, and G7. All still beginner-friendly chords, no bar chords, but it's a real change in this song. You can hear that gear change um, in the song when it sort of takes another direction. That's an indication of a key change. Totally new chords in a song, again, indication of a key change. And then we go back to the key of C, when we go uh, C, E minor to A minor. So let's go from that bridge section like a river flows surely to the sea, and then we'll go through the final verse, and it would only be repetition of that for a longer version of this song if you chose to do it. So from the E minor, and we'll have a strum through till the end of the song, and that will be all sections of this tutorial. Three, four. Like a river flows surely to the sea Darling, so it goes some things are meant to be Verse Take my hand Take my whole life too For I can't help Falling in love with you. Okie dokie. Uh, there's a great cover of this by 21 Pilots as well, which you should definitely check out. Many other great versions of this wonderful song. Try and have a go yourself, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial on my Andy Guitar YouTube channel, website, and app.